Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, September 7th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. We got college football taking the main stage. Also got a nice baseball play for you. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Not a lot of waiting around. We are heading to the Queen City here for Pitt and Cincinnati. This one getting off early, and it looks like 62 and a half being the total. I'm going after this one, guys. I see points in bunches. Early in the college football season, love going after totals because – you know, we get changes in the offensive philosophy for some of these two for some of these teams in college football. And I feel like the market can kind of be behind on that. And sure enough, I'm locked and loaded on, on this Pitt Panthers team. Their OC, Cade Bell, Pat Narduzzi, their head coach, calls him uh one of the most aggressive, you know, forthcoming offensive coordinators in the country. And sure enough, in their first outing. Uh, they were one of the teams that went from like the biggest change in terms of seconds per snap. Uh, they made the biggest, I guess, improvement, quote unquote, from being a slower type offense to snapping the ball very quickly. They were actually one of only two offenses in week one of college football to snap the ball under 20 seconds, them uh, under 20 seconds per snap. So we're seeing it in what they're doing offensively. I think Pitt's going to score a bunch. We get uh, sunny skies. We get uh, clear skies and not minimal wind. I think this is points and bunches in the Queen City. And you kind of add on top of that, Cincinnati should do their part as well, guys. Up and over 62 and a half. Pitt, Cincinnati to start us off on Saturday. Next one up, I want to talk about Arkansas and Oklahoma State. This is a big one here. Big 12 SEC. It's also going early here, guys. And this kind of has the same theme. We get Bobby Petrino back in Arkansas. You know, the, the unforgettable uh, neck brace with the mistress on the back of the motorcycle. Hey, that's water under the bridge if you can score a bunch of points here for the Razorbacks. And it's always tough to go off of week one when a team plays an FCS opponent. But sure enough, Arkansas put up 70 points. They won 70 to nothing. Now they're going up against the real offense in Oklahoma State. The Cowboys led by quarterback Allen Bowman in his seventh season in college football. Man, this guy's pretty good, too. I've been looking to bet on him a bunch. I think both offenses get after it. We know uh, we know that that offense in Stillwater with Oklahoma State always looking to score points. And Arkansas this year going pedal to the metal, throwing the football all around. Hey, let's go Arkansas and Oklahoma state up and over as well guys we get that one 61 and a hook so two overs to start us off i uh, got two more college football plays here for you then we're going to hit some mlb action next one up let's talk a big time matchup here also 12 noon eastern so we've got a lot of early action here on saturday guys and it's texas and michigan in the big house 9 a.m pacific kick time here we get the longhorns minus seven point road favorites Low total, 42 in the hook. When it's that low of a total and it's a touchdown favorite, my eyes always kind of go to uh, the underdog because the the market's telling us points are, are going to be a little bit uh, hard to come by. Sure enough, Texas, I mean, they're loaded offensively. Their wide receivers look to have a couple guys be playing in the NFL. Week one, they won 52-0 over Colorado State. And they're up against Michigan here. This is a Michigan team. I think they're talking about the Texas side of things. I think they're actually going to take a huge step up in class in the defense they're going to be facing. So I don't think we can take too, too much off of that week one performance against the Rams because this Michigan defensive line does look strong. Um, they did only have a 25 yard edge against Fresno State, but it might be kind of setting them up to, for a little bit of a buy low spot. And sure enough, we can't forget about the defensive coordinator high hire Don Wink Martindale from the Ravens. So this defense looks to be improved. I do agree with the low scoring atmosphere. I just think plus seven in our pocket at home. Got a couple stats. Why Texas just one in eight against the spread against big 10 opponents. Their last nine and oh, and seven, the old Ofer in the seven games as a favorite against the big 10. Hey, this is a tough place to play. It's going to be a rowdy atmosphere. Let's put the seven in our pocket with the home dog, Michigan Wolverines barking. Got another one in the SEC primetime game. Biggest matchup in the SEC. Wouldn't normally think of it with South Carolina 
and Kentucky, 1230 p.m. Pacific, 330 Eastern on ABC, 42 in the hook being the total. We are seeing the Wildcats minus nine at home. South Carolina comes in, yes, 2-0 and the last two against Kentucky. However, this year, they did not look good week one against Old Dominion. They, uh, what, won 23-19, to didn't come anywhere close to covering the 20 points as the favorite, and they were plus three in turnover margins. So head coach Shane Beamer, I, I don't think he has the same bunch here this season. He's up against Kentucky. Um, I mean, you talk about just a program under Mark Stoops. By the way, the longest tenured head coach in the SEC now that Nick Saban is gone. Uh, week one against Southern Miss, 35 to nothing. It was actually called early due to lightning. So just in 35 minutes, they won 35 to nothing. They got the quarterback transfer from Georgia and got one here from Mark Lawrence. Kentucky, 15 and 0 against the spread coming off of a non-conference win. And I think that speaks to the head coaching ability of Mark Stoops, getting his team ready for the important games. And sure enough, up against Southern Miss winning uh, big time, I think they actually got a, they, they saved some things here for the Gamecocks. So, hey, I know a lot of people liking the underdog in South Carolina, but I'm going the other way, guys. Let's get on Kentucky minus nine here as I'm talking in the Friday overnight marketplace. All right, got one baseball game as well. And this is kind of a follow-up from yesterday's show. We got off uh, the Friday slate with a nice winner on the Bronx Bombers. Hey, going to look to parlay that. I, I'm saying that figuratively, guys. Uh, going to be betting the Yankees again on Saturday. Minus 136 against the Cubs in Wrigley Field. They got Schmidt on the hill. Hey, he was great. Uh, he's coming back off the IL. And I think he's going to continue everything that I've been reading um, he's feeling good. His his numbers were great before he went on the IL. I don't I don't see really any reason. It can be a little bit tricky other than that coming back after a, a long time off. But I think he's going to have a good start here against the Cubbies offense that has started to kind of become a little bit cooled off from that winning streak they had last week. He's up against Julian Assange. The kid that made his way up uh, in the Mexican Pacific League. He's been knocked around a little bit after a uh, a solid few outings he put together in a row to get that ERA down. But he's going up against the number one overall lineup in Major League Baseball by weighted runs created plus in the Yankees. Laying the 36 cents, guys. I think it's short. This is an early start on the diamond to go with the college football plays. So we are on the Yankees once again, minus 136 over so that's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond. Just a quick Saturday primer for you as college football in full swing. On the diamond, we got the Yankees, minus 136. We got Michigan, plus the seven in the big house. We're laying it with the Kentucky Wildcats, minus nine over South Carolina. We got that Pitt Cincinnati up and over, 62 and a hook, and another uh, low 60s total with Arkansas and Oklahoma State over as well guys so check out premium picks wagertalk.com got college football three pack for the clients up and available at percent max limit going on sunday for nfl week one i'm drew martin checking out guys we'll be back on monday morning smash that like button comment below let me know your picks for this weekend i'll be in there chiming in as well hey enjoy the weekend of football baseball hey nfl and college football so uh guys checking out thanks for tuning in Cash those tickets.